Get 5% off on all your orders on cardtrader.com using my code MATCASTER. Link below in the description. Perfect! Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and today is September 20th, 2024 and before we jump into things here as per usual I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a Card Trader discount code and you can use those codes down below in the description to get a discount on your first order. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Necro Dominance from Modern Horizons 3. This legendary enchantment is down 25.27% today from $6.45 to $4.82 for its market price and its average price is $7.76. Sauron the Dark Lord from the Lord of the Rings. This mythic is down 25.53% from $10 to $7.44 for its market price, and its average price is $8.40. Drena in Limvala from March the Machine. This legendary creature duo is down 26.54% from $4.37 to $3.21 for its market price, and its average price is $3.92. Feasting Hobbit, and this is the extended art copy from Commander the Lord of the Rings. This creature is down 26.96% from $3.82 to $2.79 for its market price, and its average price is $3. Nut Collector from Dominaria Remastered. This creature is down 27.25% from $7.89 to $5.74 for its market price, and its average price is $6.80. Herald of Hoofbeats from Commander March the Machine. This card is down 27.58% today from $4.46 to $3.22 for its market price, and its average price is $4.22. Ramos Dragon Engine from The Brothers War, and this is the Retroframe Artifact version of the card down 27.88% from $4.95 to $3.57 for its market price, and its average price is $4.26. Our final loser on our list today is Tranquil Frillback from March the Machine, The Aftermath. This creature is down 27.91% from $6.88 to $4.96 for its market price, and its average price is $5.75. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Concordant Crossroads, and this is the borderless copy from Double Masters 2022. This card is up 6.84% from $20.60 to $22 for its market price, and its average price is $21.41. And the Double Masters 2022 regular copy is sitting at $18.16 for its market price, and its average price is $18.31. The Foil Edge copy is sitting at $20.91 for its market price, and its average price is $33. And the Chronicles reprint copy is sitting at $20.54 for its market price, and its average price is $18.96. And the Secret Layer series copy is sitting at $17.93 for its market price, and its average price is $19.80. And the original copy from Legends is the most expensive, still sitting at $99.87 for its market price, and its average price is $95.55. This card is being played in one of the newer commanders from Bloomborough, Clement the Worrywart. Next winner on our list is Witch King of Angmar, and this is the borderless poster copy of this Lord of the Rings card. It's up 7.60% today from $40.66 to $43.75 for its market price, and its average price is $68.68. Savai Triome from Akoria Lair of Behemoths. This land is up 7.91% from $16.68 to $18 for its market price, and its average price is $18.05. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $17.40 for its market price, 
and its average price is $20.59. The promo pack copy is sitting at $22.73 for its market price, and its average price is $19.73. And the showcase copy is sitting at $16.62 for its market price, and its average price is $17.42. This card is seeing competitive play in pioneer decks like Nif Delight and even modern decks like Domain 2. However, it's also being played in the commander format in commanders like Kali of the Vast and Edgar Markov. Next up on the list is Omniscience from Wilds Veldrain Enchanting Tales. This enchantment is up 11.68% today from $10.36 to $11.57 for its market price, and its average price is $9.54. Next up on the winners list is Ember Heart Challenger from Bloomborough. This rare is up again today, 17.80% from $5.90 to $6.95 for its market price, and its average price is $5.90. The showcase copy is sitting at $5.10 for its market price, and its average price is $4.80, and this card is seeing a ton of competitive play in a variety of formats. In the Pioneer format, it's being played in Rakdos Aggro, Gruel Aggro, and Boros Heroic and in the standard formats being played in Gruel Prowess, Mono Red Prowess, and even Boros Mice. The next winner on our list is Mount Doom from the Lord of the Rings, and this legendary land is up 18.96% from $5.38 to $6.40 for its market price, and its average price is $5.19. The pre-release copy is sitting at $11.84 for its market price, and its average price is $12.64. The Borderless copy is sitting at $5.02 for its market price, and its average price is $5.23. The Borderless Surge Foil copy is sitting at $77.78 for its average price, and the Showcase Scrolls copy is sitting at $9.48 for its market price, and its average price is $30.64. And the Borderless Poster copy is sitting at $53.77 for its market price, and its average price is $68. This card is seeing some modern play in Rakdos Midrange and Goryeo's Vengeance, but it's seeing most of its play in the commander format and commanders like the infamous Cruel Claw, Gev Scaled Scorch, and Sauron the Dark Lord. And our final winner on our list today is Pyro Goy from Commander Modern Horizons 3. This creature is up again today, 45.58% from $3.51 to $5.11 for its market price and its average price is $9.68. The extended art copy is sitting at $2.28 for its market price and its average price is $5, so it's still trying to catch up with the regular copy. You can find this card in the commander deck from Modern Horizons 3, Graveyard Overdrive. This card is being played as well in the legacy format in Mono Red Initiative as well as Painter decks. But of course, it's also being played in the commander format and commanders like this of the Restless and Nicol Bolas the Ravager. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Bloodmark Mentor from Shadow Moor. This foil is up 19.87% today from $6.29 to $7.54 for its foil market price and its average price is $10.53. We've got an old frame foil from 7th edition, Static Orb, and this foil is up 31.18% from $269.95 to $354.11 for its foil market price, and its average price is $2. Obnixilus Captive Kingpin from Martian Machine, The Aftermath. This foil is up 32.47% from $3.08 to $4.08 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.82. Rights of Refusal from Odyssey Another old frame foil up 34.58% from $12.58 to $16.93 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.37. Tormenting Voice from Dragons of Tarkir this foil is up 35.17% from $2.90 to $3.92 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1. And our final foil winner of the day is a common foil from Lorwyn, Blades of Velus Vel. This card is up 35.43% from $9.37 to $12.69 for its foil market price, and its average price is $32.50. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering 
market movers it really really means a lot to me if you guys could could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into youtube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on youtube also let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was which cards you most surprised to see on the list and which cards you actually own that should up on the list i do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them there down below for me to read also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back on Monday for the regular Market Mover series. However, I'll also be back tomorrow for the week's winner's edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.